Good day, everybody. My name is, of course, Brian Downing from QuantLabs.net. So today is the first time I'm trying this. Did this within an hour of just having the idea and coming up with an actual demo and a video recording. Now, before I get into this, there's two things I need to talk about. If you've been following me for the number of years, uh, you know I've worked on .NET, C++, interaction with the Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation software. What I'm about to show you is going to change all that. Uh, this is using MATLAB and the current TWS, Trader Workstation. The other thing I need to mention is, um, with it, when it comes to interactive brokers, the funding uh, at a minimum to open an account is ten k, ten thousand dollars. So I was a little leery on that. So my other choice was to go with um, Oanda. The problem with Oanda is it's it, yeah it's free. You can get access to the API, but the the the, the um, and there's virtually no funding needed. Like. Twenty dollars, as far as I could tell. But then I had a webinar, so we said, "No, no, you need a thousand. So I'm not sure which way it is. But at the end of the day, um, with this in mind, uh, I, I revisited how you go about doing this uh, with Oanda. But because they've set it up so 1990s is, is a good way to put it, where you have part of the APIs in, in REST, uh, part of the APIs in Java. The documentation, I don't know, uh, it's pretty primitive. Um, and that brought me back to how does MATLAB deal with this? How does MATLAB deal with order management? How does MATLAB deal with positions? Um, so things have come a long way in the current version of MATLAB 2015A, which I'm about to show you. This new toolbox that they just brought out, I believe came out late 2013 or 14. Uh, it's fairly new, so before I did all my courses and stuff, this stuff never existed from within MATLAB. The other thing with MATLAB is I'm putting in a pretty, pretty uh, strong um, effort into using MATLAB 100% pretty well, and then be able to develop and deploy Java JAR files, executable ones, and then hopefully put them into a Linux environment. So I'm going to do another test to finalize that confirmation. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the um, this new traders toolbox with interactive brokers. So it's going to get a little weird uh, because we've got two pieces of software we need to deal with. First we've got the standard uh, interactive uh, TWS. I do have the capabilities of recording on a double screen, but a lot of people come back and say, well, the resolution is no good. So I will stick with the old school way of uh, keeping everything uh, keeping everything on one screen. Now, what I've done is, as part of the examples, again, the big reason why I love using MATLAB is just the documentation they provide. The examples, I just looked at it, and I got it working within half an hour. That's how good it is. So the first one I'm going to show you is um, requesting Interactive Brokers historical data. Now again, remember I do not have an account. This is one of the other real good reasons why I like Interactive Brokers because I can still test the software, I can still test their interaction to their network. It's not obviously the best, it's all test data, it's all junk, but it can still be done without them needing to know who you are. You don't need to register, so that is a very powerful capability. Uh, I really like of interactive brokers. Now, just so you know, when you do this, you are severely limited on what you can look at. You cannot look at things like options data. I've tried to do that um, and some other stuff. The data up up till now is sort of maybe a little bit behind real time. But what do you care if you're just developing strategies around this? So at this point. This may be good enough to go with uh, for testing out algorithms on top of all the portfolio management, optimization, and risk management stuff that I'm working on. So let me show you enough blabbing. I've spent enough four minutes blabbing away already. So let's get to it. Now this, this code uh, are, is examples from this URL right here. So the only thing I've added is a contract that actually works and broken it up so I can properly debug it in my editor. So let's get running. So the first thing you got to do is connect into the TWS. Okay, that's pretty well what it's doing. 
Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a contract with Apple and give it the data US dollar smart. It's a stock. So let's uh, run those. So I'm going to do some date ranges. Now we're going to get some historical data. Now remember, uh, all this has to uh, be connected into uh, a running copy of your TWS, otherwise this won't run. So as we got back, we got back some uh, info. This is the open, high, low, close, and all that uh, information. All that is explained in this link here. So this is all historical. So let's do one more test. Let's get the current, uh, the current uh, info, uh, and basically this is what it does. You see, it's a little slow. Um, that's okay. I'm not trying to build high frequency trading systems here. I'm just trying to make my life easier to do a very low frequency or at best a medium frequency. I would not recommend doing this, but if you're just going out, starting out, you need to get a system up and running, this is an excellent way to do it. So anyways, uh, here's the data, bid, price, sorry, bid, ask, sizing, and the volume. So that works. So let me just close up the connection. Great. Now again, this is all courtesy of the Trader Toolbox. You need that to run what I just showed you. So I got one last, um, uh, one last script here. Uh, let me just clear the workspace as I always love to do because some of these scripts conflict with each other with the current data. So we're going to do the same thing. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to actually create an order. Not only that, but we're also going to um, basically uh, uh, use the same demo here in this URL. And uh, what it's going to do is going to create an order and uh, so on and so forth. So let me just uh, connect, uh, set a breakpoint here. Hang on. Okay, right here. Oh, there's a. We got a syntax error, column 34. Oh, hang on, 34. Okay, let me fix that. Hey, Brian again, second example uh, with an order. Uh, cancel, and there's a cancellation example in here too. So again, continuing where we left off, I just had to rename this little script here. Um, so we're gonna create a order through the TWS. Uh, we've got our usual connection into the TWS. Um, so we're going to run it to this breakpoint. Um, we're going to create the object. Uh, if it's empty, then we create the object in the interface, which is a blotter. Uh, and here, so we're just going to create all that info. It's getting displayed as we speak. This is it here. Okay. So that is just what got created. It's a little different than uh, using the uh, the uh, guide. Okay, so now we're going to uh, request the data. Now, before I continue, you'll, you'll notice here this is a function that's part of the uh, trader uh, trader toolbox. Okay, um, a lot of people don't know, but they'll say, "Well, these commercial um, toolboxes in MATLAB is no good because they're not." I mean, open source is typically free, but this is open source, but you're paying for it. Commercial product. So let me show you an example. So we're going to call this a trader's toolbox function, but ch check it out. You you can go through the source code, it's documented as no different than before, and you can actually um, go through uh, each and every function that uh, uh, MathWorks allows you. So you can take a look at the, the functions and how they work within the toolbox, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I just thought I'd point that out. So now we've created our order. Uh, again, you can just go to this link to uh, get the, for the details. I'm just running this to show you something. So it's going to create the contract info. Uh, it's now going to create the uh, order. All right, and then it's going to set up the order ID. Create the order. Now, two things have just happened here. Uh, we got uh, a log. In interactive brokers, uh, we just put that order in. You need to see that. Uh, here's the uh, TWS with that buy order. So it is communicating with TWS. 
pretty, pretty cool. So also uh, in the blotter, that gets updated on top of it right here. So we can go fill and uh, we can put little buttons here, maybe highlight, cancel if we want to be able to do that. Um, so the first one just from a previous session I ran, didn't get cleared out. Okay, so now we're gonna cancel it. I believe, yes, so she disappears. Um, let's see what happens in the blotter here. I don't think this is smart enough to update it. So I'll just say fill. Ooh. Okay, so um, that's pretty well it. And uh, I think we're pretty well done. Let me just check on one little extra thing here. Uh, US dollar, I, yeah. Okay, so that is the examples of to use interactive brokers uh, within MATLAB. There's another product uh, out there. Uh, I think this is decent enough to work with within the uh, MATLAB environment. I'm sure that other set of libraries do more than that, which is fine, but again, I'm just gonna keep it within the, call it the MathWorks family. Hopefully uh, this will help you out. Talk to you later and uh, may the force be with you. Oh, uh, before I let you know, I am going to attempt to uh, deploy these two scripts and turn them into uh, jar files to see what would happen um, if I can get them uh, to run uh, within a jar file with uh, Linux, within Linux, um, within that jar file communicating with the TWS and Linux. Now if that can be done, we're on to something. So we'll throw that test next.